tractor you have in the blower, the John Deere, what is the long lever when you open the door? Never seen something like that before. This tractor is a 2940. And the, 29, the 2040 series, 50 series, 55 series, including the 31 and 32 55s, um, were made in out of the Germany plant. And they're the European style. So they have this transmission if they have a cab. And this is the parking brake. So that takes off the parking brake. There's your parking brake. It's actually a very nice little tractor. I really like it. Back to the field. So just waiting for another load of corn from the combine. Ugh. Hello. question earlier but uh, weed whacker reed want to know how many bushels do you think that truck can hold um, we put about we, we estimate we put about five ton in it per load we don't want to overload it but I think I can get 200 bushel in here uh, five ton is about 178 and change I think it uh, works out to be but so I think I can easily squeeze it this thing loaded up where any little bump and I'm gonna have side I, I should have tarped it put it that way but anyway back to the silo 
Oh, to touch on uh, Cody's question from earlier, uh, when he was talking about uh, not being able to get into his fields, all I really talked about was the shelling. But Cody, um, these fields are the gravelly fields, so they make them a little easier. And it's actually pretty wet up in here where I'm pulling in. So um, next field's down in the river flat, so that's really gonna be the challenge. So luckily we get rain tomorrow. Probably gonna hear that a lot, but if someone's gonna ask it, I'm gonna answer it. 
and the farthest field is probably about eh, can't be over 10 so 10 or under um, it's a little ways away not too far it's uphill and that's what makes it the longest maybe seven miles I'll say that's a good number <coughs> excuse me Mark Repka great videos and explaining nice New York State countryside too love those silos in the Tysol barn thanks Mark I love those silos too um, we kind of have a just down the road a little bit is a little bend uh, there's an intersection and a bend and when we're on our way home my little guy will start screaming I see the silos I see the silos and uh, it's pretty cool when I was a little guy and we'd go down to New Jersey to visit my grandparents or an uncle uh, that was a cool thing coming over the hill and that was the first thing you see is the silo so that's a pretty cool I like the silos dairy it would be hard not to keep them positive thanks for sharing oh because in the last video I said keep the comments uh, positive um, thank you I really appreciate that you guys have some you you always leave some really nice comments I really appreciate it Luke Brinkman what is your favorite tractor um, of all time I'm gonna say the 7810 but just on this farm uh, it'd be a toss-up between the one I'm in right now the 4555 and the uh, 4055 and I'm getting loaded up now so I'm gonna turn my auger on and put some in the truck so we'll be back with more questions okay let's tackle some more questions Jeff Hirsch what's your moisture percentage uh, 25 good old 25 Phil Yates you make interesting videos not boring I appreciate that I didn't think I was making boring videos I just when I'm doing the same thing over and over you know for like the third video in the row that's when I really I don't like I said I don't want to bore you guys with it. that's where I was getting at I hope I don't make boring videos you guys seem to think uh, you guys seem to enjoy them so that's the important part Carl Jacobson how's everything out in Kansas no Kentucky sorry I knew it was a K Kentucky what's the population you plant you must be getting a lot of rain well I think everybody got a lot of rain this year uh, we're in 30 inch spacing um, as far as the actual population goes, like I said, if I was doing the planning, I'd probably have a better answer for you on that. But All right, sun's going down, and we're going to be topping off the last one of the night. Let's do some more questions. John Murr, it's great meeting you at Empire Farm Days. You and your dad, I hope you guys are doing good, by the way, John. How many acres of high moisture corn do you do? Uh, we just kind of go by loads, basically. We usually put about 40 loads in, but... Um, we still have a lot left over from last year so we're gonna finish this field and then there's a field a couple videos ago uh, when we were chopping there was that far field that was still green when we were chopping um, we just opened that up and got a few loads out of that and topped off the silo so we're gonna go down there and combine that one so uh, let's see what's next Rick Perry are you looking to get a new combine do you have any leftover corn? Rick Perry, thumbs up to you, brother. That's uh, that's my number one sweet corn, or my dad's number one sweet corn uh, customer right there. Sadly, we don't have any leftover corn, but um, yeah, I think every every year for the past five years we've been looking at a new new to us combine. So maybe this year's the year. Every time we fix it, my dad's like, I think we can get another year out of this. So it's easy when I'm fixing it. Okay, Lean Dirt's Farm. We have a 9510 amazing combine. It's great. John Deere did something very good in the late 90s, early 2000s. They came out with a 10 series, whether it was the 7010 series, the 8010 series tractors, or the 9010 series uh, combines. Those were all amazing pieces of equipment, and I would love to have any one of them on this farm. <clears throat> Illinois dairy farmer your little guy reminds me of my four-year-old he's always tells me he's going to drive the tractor like grandpa and I can milk the cows when he gets big I'll be stuck in that parlor forever yeah yeah that's that's how it goes here I am thinking that someday my dad might retire and I might be able to work myself up to the combine and then my little guy says he's gonna do the combine um, Tada farm just curious what the difference between a 4400 and a 4420 is I have a John Deere 6600 and the neighbor has a 6620. 
There looks to be a lot of difference between the two. Um, I'm going to say the difference between the 66 and the 6620 is probably around the same thing. I mean, I've never been inside a 4400. Um, I know my buddy Sean from Charvich Farms, they run a 4400. And I didn't really take a look at it at all, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I wish I could answer that question better. I really wish I could. I'm sorry, but I don't know much about the 4400. Jim Robertson. Hi, Mike. Can you show how old how the old combine works for the lovers compared to the new paddles? Yeah, I'll, I'll try to get in there someday. Um, like a little kid, I, uh, you know, I'm going to jump in it and move it around. My dad's two jobs are he is the one that plants and he is the one that runs the combine. I offered to combine one time so he can go get lunch and oh my God, you would have thought I slapped him across the face and say, oh, no, 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 no. He run the combine. But. Colin Riley. Great videos. Like to see some in-the-cab footage of the 4420 if you could hit some. Uh, I think this is the no further down we were talking. Minnesota, um, the one, I, that was a different comment. But, um, yeah, I'll try, to, uh, I'll try to sneak the GoPro in sometimes when he's not looking. McManus Farms, love the loading setup for the silos. Thank you. Um, I think we got it set up where even if I upgraded to a bigger truck, it wouldn't affect the setup at the silo at all. I could just back in, load into that little logger, which is going to dump into the blower. So it, it makes it nice and easy. Um, yeah, it doesn't get too much easier than that. Back up, unload, go. Jeff Rhodes, how many acres do you have total and do you guys rotate your fields every couple of years? I already touched on the acre one, so I'll touch on your rotating question. Um, I, I said in my response, good question for the video, and the reason why I said that is our corn and soybeans for grain, we rotate every year. Uh, whatever is corn one year will be soybean the next year. Um, our alfalfa, we probably try to, well not probably, we usually try to get three years out of that. Now after the fourth year, we're, we'll plow it up, um, plow it up, put some corn in it for a year or two, well for two years at least, uh, then put some oats in it and seed it back over to alfalfa. McManus Farm again, what state do you farm in or live in? I kind of, I chuckled at that one. Um, farm and live in the same state and that is New York Tom Howe where do you buy your feed from uh, for those who don't know Tom Howe is my uncle I did the uh, I did the video on his farm down in New Jersey and the where you buy your feed from that's a that's a <laughs> uh, that's a quick short story uh, my younger brother is a great person um, he can be a little rough around the edges sometimes, a little gruff when it comes to other people. Um, he doesn't get off the farm a whole lot. He does get off the farm more than he lets on, but um, he was at his in-laws one night and his wife's cousin had a few soda pops and loudly asked him multiple times, and he, it doesn't matter if you're sober, you, oh God forbid, you ask my brother the same question more than once, he rolls his eyes, it's like the end of the world, like, oh my God, you already asked me. It's it's something. Gotta love him. Great guy. But he must have asked, uh, my his wife's cousin must have asked him four times that night, very loudly, because he, like I said, he had a few, um, where he bought his grain from. And now once my uncle got that knowledge, um, he'll ask my brother all the time where he gets his grain from or where he gets his feed from. To answer your question, Gold Star up in Sangerfield, New York. Timothy Miller. How's y'all corn yielding, Mike P? Um, it's yielding pretty good. This field's doing a lot better. The first field we were in um, didn't yield as good, but uh, it's really rocky ground. That's like a rock pile we planted that corn in, and uh, <laughs> that uh, that didn't get as much cow manure. So this one's yielding a lot better, and then the river flats are great, very fertile ground, so they'll yield really good. Oh, here it is. Minnesota Oliver and Deer. Maybe you could put the GoPro or the camera in the combine. And I said, yeah, we'll get a uh, catch my dad picking his nose or something. We won't tell him. Eric Roden, great video. Thank you, Eric. I really appreciate it. Oh, George W., do a repair video on the combine. Well, by the time we had that thing, by the time this video posted, I already had the combine ripped apart. And uh, we had a neighbor come down. Uh, great guy. 
and he doesn't want to be on camera so art hall nice video thank you art uh craig craig Monty, do you do any videos milking cows i don't and the reason why is i very rarely milk the cow i gotta move the tractor i told my dad i'd move it and i'm in his just sitting here in his way i very i never milk cows i should say, I should say never i have very rarely do i milk um my brother did do a uh, he, me and my older brother were into sports and my younger brother was more of uh, into like a chorus he sings pretty good so uh, he started doing a community play once he got out of school so my dad used to do them when we were little kids so my dad wanted to go see my brother in the play a couple years ago so I got to step out and be the milker for the night so Truck and then we'll get back to some more questions.